to create a new stat, all we have to do here is go to uh, Jigsaw Data and Stats and duplicate one of the stats here using the data assets. Let's call it Luck. Uh, we can select the name, description, and a label. And from this place right here, we can select also the color so everything can be done in one place. And also, uh, we can define what this stat give, uh, gives the, the character. So for example, let's say that luck can give us more intelligence or health or whatever. So here you can uh, enter as many extra stats as, as uh, you want. So for example, you can gain intelligence for every luck. We have one int. Later, we can do uh, health as well. Um, so next here, we're going to uh, modify the stats struct of the character. Um, so there you go. So here, all we have to do is just add a new variable of type float. Of course, it depends on what you want to do, but float, gen generally speaking, should be fine here. So that's luck. And now we want to um, handle the stats UI. So BP player stats W. Here we can just supli duplicate one of the entries here and just call it luck. So select it in the struct name, select luck there. Um, and then here you need to select the data asset, which is the uh, luck asset right there. Uh, make sure you do that, very, it's very important. And then in the update stats function, we simply wanna uh, add a new uh, function call. Um, and of course we wanna use the reference of uh, the luck. So we can go ahead and let's go ahead and rename it here uh, to easily find it later. So we'll uh, name it stat entry luck or something like that. And then we can just find it uh, left side in the my blueprint uh, panel and then just hook it to the struct value. So let's grab the luck there and plug it right there. Next, we wanna modify the AR, uh, ARPG macro lib. This is used to convert a data asset reference to a pin used in the character and also in the AI. So let's go ahead and add a new pin here and simply call it luck and then check the reference if it equals to luck and if uh, yes we can just plug the true to luck uh, so here we're going to plug in the stat reference and uh, on the equal we'll just find the data asset which is luck in this case so if it equals then uh, in that case we'll just uh, plug false here and then true to the luck pin um, next is inside the character we're going to handle a few things um, so first when we equip or unequip something we want to handle that but first let's go ahead and handle the git uh, current stat which is used in a f uh, few functions so all we got to do here is just use the same pin or the same macro we modified earlier and in this case if it's luck we'll return the luck from the struct uh, next um, on equipped and unequipped functions here um, also that same macro uh, is used right here so the same thing we simply um, here we want to set the uh, value so we'll set the um, value in the player stat struct make sure we hide everything only uh, show luck right there and then the new value is the new value right there we'll just plug it like so and also plug the player stats and then hook the set node to the luck um, so should be the same thing for the other, uh, the equipped on equipped function. Um, so same thing here, simply duplicate the sit members, um, struct, hide everything, and only show luck there. Uh, plug the player stat and the new value, and then plug in the sit node to the luck pin. Next, we can handle another function, which is the on uh, stat new value. So here the same thing, the same macro is used there and we'll simply uh, right side hide all unconnected pings and only show luck and then plug in the new val x there um, and then plug the luck input to, to the set member. So simply copy paste should be, uh, should be the same thing for similar to other stats. All right, so now let's go and test our stats here. We're gonna uh, select the bow in the data table and we'll go to the random stats and we'll add the new entry so let's of course go ahead and select luck there so now you can just simply select the data asset um, right there let's set something like min and max 1 to 99 or something like that and then of course the chance 100 percent so we all uh, we get it all the time and make sure that max stats is three or, or more so we get all uh, those stats and the bow now if we go ahead and play you should see that we have luck on our bow right there okay 
And as you can see right here, we have luck, um, 16 there. It can be anything, doesn't have to be luck. But next we're going to see how to make it a primary stat. So we have string, dexterity, uh, intelligence, and endurance. And now we want to make luck a primary stat, meaning that we can allocate stat into it. So I'm going to go ahead and move it with the other primary stats. And now all I got to do here is just find references of endurance or dex or whatever, and just to see where they're used, and then just do the same for luck. So whatever we have dexterity, string, plugged in we'll also plug the, the luck value right there so we'll plug it here and of course plug it here as well so on allocate plus plug that there and um, of course on allocate uh, minus as well same thing just plug in the um, same value a reference of luck um, same thing here And finally here we're going to create a new local variable here uh, so we can send the server request to allocate uh, points into luck similarly or similar to uh, uh, string dexterity so pretty much the same thing just copy pasting so i'm gonna find our luck there and then um, plug it over here And now let's go ahead and modify the server event and the interface uh, event as well. So here, this is where uh, the server allocate gets called. Let's go ahead and open the character inventory interface and add a new uh, value here. So it's going to be luck of type integer. And then do the same here, inventory component. Just drag the pin there, it should be created, and plug it right, like so. And then go back now and simply plug the luck value. So you can just uh, find it there or you, you can right click and type it. And uh, now double click just so this interface is used inside the character. So we'll go ahead and open the character blueprint and um, simply uh, handle it the same way. Uh, strength and dexterity is handled. So simply add a pin there, plus, and here we have this struct s stat uh, allocation or uh, allocation tracker. We'll need to modify that. So let's go ahead and modify that and add a new int. Okay, so it's going to be luck here, and like so. Uh, and then uh, back to the character, should now be able to um, set the value inside the tracker. So if you don't see the value, of course, go ahead and add that um, uh, before. So luck should be, if you just right click and look for the uh, function input, you should find it. So that's just the function input um, as a local variable. Um, and here this struct, if you don't see the luck uh, input, just the details panel and enable it from there. Then plug it like so. And um, same thing here. So uh, player stat, now we need to um, set that value inside the player stat struct. So simply get the luck um, function input and then simply set it. And then here we can simply add another function call. This basically just uh, calls the on stat gained, um, which handles what happens when you get a new stat. Um, for example, luck would give you something else like health or intelligence or whatever. So this function is what uh, handles it, the on stat gain and on stat loss. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Now you might notice that sometimes um, you might get errors like this, and this is because the engine sometimes freaks out when you modify structs. So we simply need to um, force, uh, refresh the uh, struct with the issue. So in that case, it's, this is the struct that's given us the issue. Um, so all we gotta do here is just add a, a new variable, like a dummy variable to force it to refresh. And then we'll just remove that. And that's it, that should solve the issue. Um, so now if we compile, it should be fine. The engine is still kind of weird with structs. Um, if you modify a struct, the engine just freaks out. So as you can see here, um, so I'm going to compile. It should uh, be fine. That's why I moved away from enums with the stats, and we use data assets. We'll probably do the same for other things. Um, so as you can see, luck is set as zero, so it's not recognized as a primary stat, and that's because I forgot to plug it here. 
So check allocate, allocated stats, just plug the luck there, and now it should be also treated as a primary stat that you can allocate points into. So if we, uh, as you can see there, if we add more luck, we also get intelligence, and that's uh, was defined in the luck uh, uh, asset or data asset. Now we can actually do something else, like if you gain luck, you can maybe gain health as well. Um, so here we can just add another um, gained stat and bonus health, and this time it's just do something like 100. So if you get uh, for every one luck, you get one uh, 100 health. 